Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube. So it's Tuesday today, so like this is the third day post show. Um, I'm feeling good, I am feeling really, really good. So I got some feedback as well from one of the judges, Cal told me it. Um, basically the general consensus is that I need just basically bring my, well just basically make my glutes a little, I keep saying basically, make my glutes a little bit leaner um so that's literally the only feedback i got and obviously control my nerves now i didn't talk about this really um on saturday but when i went on stage um when i hit my when they said quarter turn to the right no when i did my routine because basically we did our routines before the comparisons um which i think is it's normally the, like the other way around anyway i went on stage hit my front pose fine went into my side pose and like I just sort of like, and people saw me do it, because you'll probably see on the footage if you watched it on the live. I sort of hit my side pose and I went like that forwards, and then I reset, and honestly, in my whole time of competing, like even the first time I stepped on stage, that has never, ever happened to me. Um, I think it was just, I was very dehydrated, because I was on stage at like half six, which I've never done before either. Quite dehydrated, I started feeling a little, like a little bit woozy and just like not really with it. And obviously coupled with the nerves, I just kind of lost a bit of like balance. Um, I've also changed my heels recently as well. So I'm just basically wearing them every single day just to make sure that I'm used to them. Because they're a little bit like higher. Um, they, they do feel different to my other, my other shoes. So yeah, not making excuses for my fuck up. Um, but overall, I was really, really happy. And to be honest, it was quite a strong lineup. Like there was a few girls there. I was like, yeah, she's really, really good. Um, so it was nice to be against girls who, you know, were really, really good athletes. Uh, made the win even better for me. But yeah, I think now, like, the dust is settled. I'm now ready to take it on for the Arnold. So next weekend is the big day, next Saturday. Um, so yeah, I just need to make those improvements. Make sure that, you know, I stay calm and hopefully I'll be on a lot earlier because that makes a massive difference. And I also noticed as the day went on, my legs like started to lose their condition a bit obviously from walking around getting my tan getting my glaze like you know there's quite a lot of walking still even though you do try and relax quite a lot um so yeah the earlier you are on the better because it is quite hard to keep you know like to peak someone for stage later on as i'm sure a lot of you watching this would have experienced before it's not ideal at all um so yeah so the game plan is in place i will talk to you guys i think in the car on the way to the gym um, about sort of the changes this week. Um, I'm actually gonna make my cream of rice meal now. Do you wanna film it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so I'm gonna literally, I don't even know which one to choose. I always struggle. My favorite one is actually out of stock. I think it's the CMP one. Um, so I think I'm probably gonna go with a complete strength one today. Um, the chocolate coconut is really really nice and you can always get these insight supplements as well by the way just a little bit of a um what's the word i'm trying to use plug, plug. plug. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i make my cream of rice really different so i like my cream of rice like almost like cakey and like lumpy so many people like there's runny i like mine really different and um i'll always make a whey paste so i never ever put my protein and mix it in. I always make a whey paste, I'll show you in a second. So I've got um, peasant fucking <laughs> portion of this. So I've got 25 grams of uh, whey protein, 50 grams of cream of rice, 100 grams of frozen blueberries, 20 grams of peanut butter. And with every single meal, I have a gram of salt. So what I do when I wake up every day is I'll literally like measure about five grams of salt in my little cup, pink Himalayan salt. That's the only salt I use. Um, so I add a gram onto each of my meals. Keeping salt in is obviously important for your fullness in your muscles, electrolyte balance, um, pump in the gym as well. So yeah, important that you focus on your salt intake. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get cracking with this now. So mine looks a bit like this. It's not really scrambled, but it's really like hard and cakey and that's how I like it. Um, I'm gonna have some whey. Oh my God, which one do I choose? So these are my favorite. Again, insight supplements, by the way. So, Perform. This is the salted caramel flavor. It's absolutely incredible. And then carrot cake flavor. I think I'm gonna go with this one, actually. Don't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
This get they, these scales are like messy with my head, I swear. There we go. And then I literally put the smallest bit of water. And I just stir so it's like a whey paste. It's got to really give it a good odds. It's quite thick actually, I probably could add a tiny bit more. Give that a good stir for like Nigella Lawson here. <laughs> So I start saying all these things. And the way is sliding over the cup. <laughs> so I put my frozen blueberries on first. So I've got 100 grams of these bad boys. Absolutely love frozen fruit. Can't wait to not weigh it in off season. And then I put the whey paste on top of the berries. Like It's very thick, this one, but they were. actually loads of 25 grams is loads. Lidl do a really good whole nuts smooth peanut butter. So 20 grams of that. Weighing food is just quite annoying sometimes. <laughs> Don't really do it in off season so I guess I'm not used to it. There we go. Well I did do it in off season that sounds really bad but like I was quite relaxed as everyone probably knows but it did the job. Right, so pre-workout choice today, Naughty Boy. Again, you can get this one in sight, of course. Um, what is this? Uh, Apple Power, really nice. And then I use a Naughty Boy creatine as well. So I have five grams of this every single day, rest days and training days. Again, really important not to remove this in prep um, because it like you'll lose your fullness. So a lot of people think, you know, when you take this, you hold water. Initially, you might hold water, but when you keep taking it, it's not gonna make you hold water for the foreseeable. So, Keep this in as well in peak week all the time, just to keep that fullness in the muscle. Um, and yeah, we're gonna head to the gym now and in the car, I'll talk to you guys about the changes we made this week and the plan moving forwards. Right, so just on the way to the gym now, I've got 20 minutes left, so I thought I would just go, d go over, sorry, what, um, I'm doing this week so I'm back to baseline calories which are like just over 1300 like 1340 or something and then like 1740 um, for my training day cardio has been put to an hour a day again um, I said to Cal I was like I want an hour <laughs> so and the last 10 minutes of the hour I'm doing intervals 10 minute intervals so I'll do like level 12 on the stairmaster for one minute back down to level 8 for a minute repeat that over 10 minutes and then I'm like working on the stairmaster like level nine, level ten for the 50 minutes. Um, steps are twelve and a half thousand, excluding cardio because cardio is never counted in your step goal ever. Um, and if my weight hasn't gone back down to my lowest point that I was last week, then we'll just ramp step steps up to fourteen thousand. Um, but I think calories will stay where they are because I'm, a, you know, even though I need to get leaner, we don't want me to become like really flat. Um, and to be honest, with my level of muscle and everything, and my expenditure and all that jazz, like, you know, 17 and 1300 are, are good enough calories for me. And also, I'm trying to run a business, you know, I'm trying to train hard. And my view on that is that, you know, if you're in a hole so much so that you can't actually train, then you're not been burning as many calories anyway. You're better off having a little bit higher and being able to actually give all in your sessions. Obviously, there's time and place when you go low. Like, that was me like two weeks ago, I was in a hole but it was needed, but you have to be really careful in prep. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like how this week's going. And then obviously next week's peak week. Um, I don't know if I'll be fed as much as I was fed last week. Um, but if I, I guess I'll probably drop even lower than my lowest last week, because that's what normally happens. And although like, obviously I had an off plan meal on Saturday night and I was a little bit more relaxed on Sunday night, I feel like even though my weight increased a lot with the water, it set me up so well for this week because I've got so much more energy, like it's mad. Um, and I can really dig deep in cardio, whereas back into prep, I was at that stairmaster like crying, like thinking how the fuck am I gonna do an hour? Like literally my, my effort was like, went from like level nine, level 10, right down to level six. You know, I was barely able to move. It was so hard. I'd rather be able to get cardio smashed, burn way more calories um, and train really hard as well. So. 
that's sort of my sort of take on on it but as i said in prep you do have to go to those dark places where you feel like shit and walk you through honey every single day but you have to manage fatigue really well otherwise you end up in a hole you know some clients could end up maybe not adhering that definitely isn't me but in you know i've, I've experienced with clients before and you see it a lot in competitors you know they get put in a hole so much they end up falling off the wagon because they just can't cope anymore and understandably like when you're on like 900 calories and fucking 20,000 steps and hours cardio I think it's enough to make anyone but yeah so that's the plan hopefully my water weight will go um just need my legs to I need my legs to drop more but at the end of the day I don't need to be figure lean you know the girls with figure they've got the feathering through the through all their quads through their hamstrings like they have like no fat on their legs basically but in wellness if I came with that hard look in the UK, I don't know if that would get rewarded um, because you need that fullness, you need to look healthy um, and not stringy. Um, and again, yeah, I'm wellness, not figure. So, you know, the level of conditioning that you need is different, but you still need to be lean. I think a lot of people think that, you know, wellness athletes don't need to be lean. <laughs> Have you seen the pros? They are absolutely shredded. Um, but obviously it's a different look to figure completely, you know, um, complete different criteria different posing the lot so yeah I'm excited I'm just kind of I feel like in a bit of a weird mood today not for any sort of particular reason other than the fact that I'm just focused on next weekend I can feel myself I do this like before competitions a lot like I can feel myself become quite introverted and quite quiet because I'm just like channeling my sort of all my energy and everything obviously into my clients as well because I've got business to run still so looking after them and like focusing on my you know my goal to, um, to stage next my goal to stage <laughs> my uh, time on stage next next weekend because it's you know it's the last comp of the year I'm not stepping on stage next year um, I've got big goals big aspirations so it's a big weekend for me next year but again whatever the outcome you know I'm really proud of myself and if I can bring a better package than I did last weekend then I'm winning you know and at the end of the day the sport's subjective I don't know who's going to turn up it's the Arnold's for god's sake like there's girls coming over from Europe you know and I'm under no illusion that there's going to be incredible athletes there and but for me I want to be up against people who are decent because you then know you know where you where you lie in the sport and like what you need to improve upon but if you come up with a you know group of girls that are poor standards you don't get that same you know feeling um, even if you don't win you know if you come you know get placed out of a really stacked group of girls you know it, it makes you feel better so yeah we will see any time will tell i guess guys but literally like 15 minutes away now i'm gonna have my new workout and then i've got a supposed to be on a glutes quads today but because it's pro strength i'm gonna make the most of their um hip thrust machine because it's Nautilus hip thrust machine and they've got a really good like pivot press I want to use so I'm going to kind of just change my uh, session up a bit and I did train quads on Sunday as well so I want to make it more glute focused but I will hit some quads because yeah I do like doing that but yeah anyway I'll catch you in the gym <laughs> After your workout, you're absolutely fucked. So you're better off getting them done before you start. Um, I used to do it like at the end, but since joining Cal, um, well, as of last year, actually started putting them in the beginning of the session, and it does make a lot of sense. Um, so yeah, and I'm at um, Pro Strength and Fitness in Swindon now. I'm not, I'm, I'm not staying here. I just come here to train sometimes. It's sick. But it's about 40 minutes from my flat. So I can't come here all the time just because of time and stuff, but it's such a cool little gym. Like it's like real proper bodybuilding, so friendly in here, like no bullshit, like everyone's so nice. It's just so nice for me to come here. So but obviously I'm moving to Cardiff soon in like a few weeks time. So yeah. Two sets on here, 
and then I'll move on to the my favourite. I think actually this is a Watson one, but the the Nautilus and Watson one are really similar, but they're actually incredible glute drives. My favourite machines for um, glute drive ones because we've got one at Whitney, but it's the booty builder one. I just don't like it. I don't I just, I just don't like it. <laughs> Think of that front pose whenever I do that, the glute pop. <laughs> this machine is quite funny. Normally I kind of sit back into it, but I find like I keep like falling forwards or moving forward. So that's why I'm just kind of sitting a bit more upright. I think this is one of my last sessions of like going to complete failure because like obviously next week's peak week. So I think Thursday's session is one rep in reserve. <laughs> Which I just I just hate guys. I literally hate it. Like I'd never train like that. Never. Like even when I was like in off seasons I used to do deloads like every five weeks. And like I used to hate going to the gym to do one reps in reserve. Like I'd rather just have like four days off completely because I just don't trust myself to not go to failure. It's hard once you're programmed to like not do that. So my uh, goal in off season is literally to get my glutes as big as I can get them. Because like for me, in off season, obviously they did look big, but a lot of us females, we hold our fat very well. And for me, like next time I step on stage, I want to have like the same size glutes that I had in off season, but just pure muscle. Like literally I want, I want way bigger glutes. <laughs> I'm kind of happy with my quads, like, I mean, I do want them to grow a bit more, but for me, like, I want my glutes to be massive. So that's my goal, I'm already thinking about it. So, obviously I'm like changing gyms as well. So Henry actually picks up the keys to our new flat today. So he's new flat, new house. So he's moving there today and I'm not moving there till after the Arnold's. So there's some sick gyms. We've got Pacific Gym, Gar Gym, Planet Fitness. Like, honestly, I'm real. So I have no excuse to not grow massive glutes. Like, a Pacific Fitness, or whatever it's called, they've literally got a leg day room, and the machines are mad. Like, so I'm just so excited <laughs> to like level myself up even more. But basically, I just want massive, a massive ass, it's like pure muscle. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> So one more set on here, 15 to 20. And then downstairs to do hammies, lying hamstring curl, the pivot press, which I absolutely love. Or I might do single leg, leg press. I'll see how I feel. And then back up here to do 45 degree hip extension. Um, and I'm gonna do a rest pause of adductors as well to finish off. Hamstrings are cramping so much, the pain's like running down to my feet, it's horrible. <laughs> oh my god. I fucked that shit up just then, that's why. And don't forget as well, I haven't been training to failure for like over a week, because obviously peak week was last week. The lead up to peak week, like three or four days before, that was more in reserve as well. So it feels nice to be able to train to failure. Right. I'm just going to do single leg press, but someone's on the leg press I want to use. 
So I'm going to do wide stance on a pivot press. Hit the glutes and hammies more. So good. So good. I was like two more and I was like, nah, give me a pussy. <laughs> I'm buzzing for Bailey's shoot I'm, that I'm doing after Arnold's. It's gonna be good. I can't get fat after my show. So I'm basically gonna compete on Saturday. I'm gonna have an off-plan meal. And then I actually, on the Sunday, I'm gonna eat in a deficit. Because I wanna look sick for the shoot on Monday. I don't wanna be bloated. I don't wanna be holding water. I can't. Yeah, me and Bailey have become like really good friends. I think he's amazing. I'm seeing him tomorrow actually for client shoot. But um, yeah, so I'm cheating with him the Monday after Arnold. So we're doing like a gym based shoot because I'll look shredded. And then. Um, kind of like lifestyle -y stuff, but definitely gonna take my kit off. Definitely doing topless stuff, but obviously not showing my boobs. <laughs> like covering it, I'll do lingerie as well. Um, and then I'll do a shoot with him next year when I got my titties done. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait, honestly. It's gonna be so good. I always go to my client shoots and I'm like, I don't wanna do this now, so it's my turn in a couple of weeks. Fucking hell. Ooh. Ooh. Right guys, so back home now, making my post-workout meal. Such a good session, oh my God, but I'm feeling a little bit prep like right now. I've only had two meals and it's like, what, nearly four o'clock? Um, so for my post-workout, I have 130 grams of chicken, um, ooh, how much 70 grams of cream of rice, 150 grams of frozen blueberries, and I have salad with my chicken as well and a bit of veg. And I've got two meals left. I've got a yogurt meal and a chicken and a rice meal as well, which I'll have later on. Um, I've done all my check-ins for today, so I'm gonna go to my dad's, my sister's there, because he's gone away. So I'm gonna chill with my sister and spend some good quality time with her. Um, and then tomorrow, I have a client photo shoot in Nottingham. So resting for me tomorrow. 
but I'll be up at 3.30 as always, because I get up at 3.30 every day, call me crazy, but it's just how my body clock is at the moment, like, I get up, I do some work, I then do my cardio and posing and stuff, so I like to be done by, like, six, half six, sort of boxed off, um, so yeah, so, thank you for watching, um, as always, like, share, subscribe, comment, and, um, the next time I'm filming will be the peak week, beginning of peak week, so next Monday, and then we're going to be filming Friday, so Friday before I step on stage on Saturday, and then the whole of my show on Saturday is going to be filmed. I'm nervous, a bit excited. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I will catch you soon.